Long story short, I was browsing and looking for a certain set of cylinder heads online, you know, trying to find a deal, and I came across a set that's kind of a, a mystery set of cylinder heads. Well, the ad does say what cylinder heads they're supposed to be, but the pictures tell me there's something different. So, anyways, here's what I found. Right away, you can see the title of the eBay ad says Speedmaster Cylinder Heads and even has the part number. They are new old stock, 418 bucks, free shipping, not bad for a set of aluminum heads. Basically the same as eBay overseas generics. Also cheaper than I normally see the Speedmaster aluminum cylinder heads go for. Not that I really want any. <clears throat> Still, going through the ad pictures, I noticed something right away, but let's look at the rest of the ad first. Again, Speedmaster heads and the part number, new old stock, but here's something interesting. Assembled and four hydraulic flat tappet cam. Now, the main ad picture clearly shows bare heads. So, like I said earlier, the pictures tell me something different than the title. There are only four pictures, and the first in the plastic bags is basically worthless. Second pick, without the bags, you can see a bit more. The intake flange does not have dual Vortec bolt pattern like the aluminum pro comps I've seen. Also, no dual valve cover bolt pattern. There are no center bolt holes or even a pad to machine them. Now, if we go to the Speedmaster page for the part number listed in the eBay ad, which are assembled by the way, one of the pictures show that the Speedmaster aluminum heads have both these dual bolt options. Even the iron heads I made a video about had them. Moving on to the third ad picture, and we get a good look at the exhaust flange. Again, nothing like the typical Speedmaster heads I've seen. Last ad picture shows the deck and chambers. Now I had to go to Summit's website to find a decent Speedmaster deck picture. It's for a different part number, but same thing as all their heads pretty much look alike. There are several small differences. I'm not going to bother pointing them all out as I have other heads to get to in this video. I do want to note the plug position is different. The eBay mystery set is a bit more toward the intake valve. Plus, technically the Speedmaster part number says these heads are angle plug, but the eBay mystery heads, you can see in the pictures, they aren't. The chambers are kind of deceiving, but the exhaust flange shows, again, they aren't. They're straight plug. Okay, so if they are not Speedmaster heads, then what brand are these eBay mystery aluminum heads? Based on the pictures I can find online, they look like Brodex heads to me. Brodex iron killer heads to be specific. Now, they don't have Brodex or any part number I can see cast on them, but there are several similarities. Before I get into those, I should mention Summit also has some heads that appear to be cast by Brodex. Though again, those also have a brand name cast on them and the eBay mystery heads have nothing. From this point on, we are gonna be comparing three different cylinder heads. We'll start with the exhaust side. On the Brodex, you can see it has D ports and is not drilled and tapped for a coolant port, like most small block Chevy heads are. Neither is the Summit head, nor is the Mystery head, although it's hard to see the D ports with the eBay ad pictures. The exhaust flange and other machining look pretty much the same on all three heads. Even the valve guy boss from what I can see inside the ports. All except one spot that I noticed. Here, the Mystery eBay head is flat. Brodex has a dip, so does the Summit. Next up is the intake flange. Brodex, Summit, Mystery Head. They all look the same to me, but again, the Mystery Head is not an ideal pitcher angle. Back to the valve cover area. Machining and shapes appear to be the same, other than casting marks, of course. Last, we compare the decks. Brodex, Summit, Mystery eBay Head, Chambers look the same, and generally the overall shape is the same. Just some small differences in coolant port shapes, 
that center boss on the bottom of the intake flange, and some casting dots that the other cylinder heads don't have. Going back to the Speedmaster head, you can see the deck is different. Again, I'm not going to point out all the differences here. You can pause if you want. The Speedmaster exhaust side, no D ports, has the common coolant port, even has a cast part number. I'm pretty sure these eBay mystery heads are not Speedmasters for several of the reasons I pointed out in these pictures. If they are cast by Brodex, or even copied by someone else, then judging by the intake ports, I'd say they are the 200cc version of the Iron Killers. Whatever they are, the price is good for the design. Well, at least from what I can see inside the ports, you know, from these eBay pictures. At this time, Jegs has bare Brodex Iron Killer 200s for over double the price of these eBay mystery heads. So that price looks pretty good, though it does look like the seller adjusted the ad price a few times. Makes you wonder. Well, there it is. Maybe I'm wrong about them or whatever. Anyways, as usual, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you know what cylinder heads these are? I'll find out soon enough because I bought them, so they're mine now. But I still got. 30 days to you know open them up and inspect them and return them if I want. So you know, we'll see. I'll make a video here shortly, you know, unboxing and inspecting. But for now, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, keep it real.